Yo, yo, Reds fam, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Detroit Tigers franchise series, the postseason edition. Folks, we are back. I know you guys have not seen any of these videos for quite a while, and I am very sorry. I just got caught up with work, but now we are back for the full week. We are back to posting consistently now keyword consistently let's get straight into this man we got some playoff baseball to play that's a lot of plays there we got a lot of playoff baseball to play and we're going to be back against the new york yankees those were that yankees were the team that defeated us last year quite unfortunate that they did defeat us yeah but let's see how how we do we had a better record than them this year so hopefully that'll just be what we exactly needed we are gonna start this series at home i believe the last one we started it away so that's kind of a big big game changer and now we got casey mice to help us out we got a bunch of other starters that can help us out but this time we are going to be starting garrett cole for this one we're going to be putting out our best our our best player our ace out there and let's go ahead and make sure our lineup is on point make sure the lineup is exactly where we want it to be on um, Miggy Cabrera, he is deteriorating quite a bit. This might be his last season. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll start him. Uh, we are going to start Puig, though. I, I feel like Puig might have a big uh, resurgence. And he might actually uh, come up clutch. So we're actually going to start the main man at, uh, at right field. We're going to put in Jake Rogers, who's actually getting better. Has good fielding, uh, good fielding and good arm strength. So... That is someone that we are going to rely on here. And we're going to leave Josh Harrison up starting up, up top. Heimer Candelarios is going to now assume the position of first base. I believe from now until the future. So he's going to be our starter. And let's get it started, folks. Play ball. Year number two. Right back at it, man. Right back at it. A walk to Jeremy Candelario. Single by Rendon. A walk. And Puig is going to strike out. Prats is going to ground out. And no run score. We're going to walk to Luke Voigt, a stolen base right there, and then a strikeout. Yes, pure beautiful. George Springer with a double, a flyout, and then Jake Rogers is going to get a single right there to drive in the run, and that's what I'm talking about. Josh Harrison with a double, drives in the run, run. and a three-run homer by Anthony Rendon. That is exactly what I'm talking about, folks. That is what we need here. We need that power, bro. We need the resurgence. J David Peraza comes up there with a single, and folks, our two acquisitions from last year, uh, well, this year, are starting to come up clutch. And Anthony Rendon with another home run. A, another solo shot to, from Rendon. And this is exactly what we needed, man. Springer with the triple. This is exactly what we needed, man. We needed the people that we called up last year. People that we signed last year to come up clutch. Jake Rogers is going to get himself a walk there. Kandana is going to feel his choice. And a single by Rendon. Four for four this game. He is absolutely killing it. And, bro, let's let, let's talk about it as well as Gary Cole. While Puy gets a single there, Peraz is going to get himself a single. A pop-up by Springer. And a run scores right there. A single by Marwin Gonzalez. And, folks, this is an utter domination. Definitely a change from last year. Hit by pitch. We're going we're gonna to do a pitching change here. We're going to bring in Tanner Scott to, to, to stop the bleeding there. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. They're, they're going to bring in Dylan Batances up. To pitch, Tanner Scott is going to come in in relief. And, folks, we have defeated the Yankees 7 to zip. Definitely a change from last year. A definite change from last year. Anthony Rendon, 4 for 5 with 2 home runs and 4 BIs. And Garrett Cole with a successful outing to close out the Yankees. Let's move on to game number 2, folks. Let's, come on, let's do this. So, game number 1 went to plan, went perfectly as planned. And we end up picking up the dub. Garrett Cole with a good outing. And now we're going to start for game two, Dallas Keiko. I trust Dallas Keiko. He's always been very, very good with us. And Brandon has been clutch. Man, Springer hitting 500 so far. Uh, and a lot of the players that we signed are doing amazing. We're going to leave David Peralta in. Um, We might have to... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna move uh, Castellanos out of the order, out of, out of the lineup. We're going to bring in Cameron Ru uh, I mean, um, Jake Rogers to come in. Because he's actually doing pretty well. And let's see, man. Let's see what happens now when we add this lineup of pure power and talent. And let's get it, boys. Play ball. Game number two. Aaron Hicks starts it off with a double. And then we get out of that inning without giving up a run. Dammer Candelaris with a single. Uh, Stanton with a triple. And a two-run home run by Gleyber Torres. 
You hate to see that, man. You hate to see that, but that's fine. It's early on in the game. We could definitely get those runs back if needed. I mean, actually, we do need them. Josh Harrison with a single, and nothing comes from that. A walk by Judge, a strikeout, and a fielder's choice. So, besides that, that little blemish in the second inning, nothing has been happening too much. A couple singles pop up. A single to make the bases loaded, and three runs score by an Aaron Judge double, which clears the bases. And that is quite unfortunate. Martin Gonzalez is going to get himself a single, and that is it. Luke Voigt, stolen base, comes up clutch with the single. And here we go. Josh Harrison is going to get himself a single. Jeremy Candelaro is going to strike out. And then three straight strikeouts right after that, man. And I think we got to take Kaiko out, man. Kaiko definitely did not have the best of games there. Uh, we're going to bring in Tanner Scott. Another run's going to score there. And, um, yeah, we're being shut out now. Definitely looking like yesterday's game. Uh, this just goes to show you how powerful both offenses are and Man, that's that's actually quite annoying man a solo shot by Jeremy Candelario is actually pretty good a double by George Springer and that is going to be it For that game we lose seven to one in this game eight <laughs> Eight innings pitch four hits 15 strikeouts. Okay game very 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 realistic but folks <sighs> That sucks man that sucks Game number two did not go to plan. We're going to go ahead and play game number three and see how things go. Yeah, we're going to play game number three and see how, how, how it goes. This time, we're going to be going over to New York. And, man, it seems like New York seems to be our biggest trouble. In, in the playoffs, New York seems to be our biggest trouble. So, we're basically basically going to be working to, make our, to, to build our team to get past the New York Yankees, which is actually quite crazy. In this game... We're gonna go with Steven Matz for this one. Steven Matz is gonna go, is gonna get the bump for game three. Uh, we are playing in uh, New York this time, so it's actually gonna be a little bit tougher to see what we can get from them. Uh, David Peralta is going to be playing. I do want Peralta to play this game. Seven at bats by Domingo Santana. Absolutely nothing comes through there, so we're gonna keep him there. We do also have the DH this time, so it can definitely come at, at a, um, can be useful. Can definitely be useful. All of our outfielders doing pretty good uh, besides Castellanos. But I'm, I'm going to leave Domingo Santana in. I do trust Domingo Santana. Actually, no. We're going to give we're gonna give Nick Castellanos a start this one and see if anything changes up. But, folks, play ball. Jordan Montgomery is going to get the bump for them. Candelar is going to start with a single back-to-back -back single with the walk. Castellanos is going to get a fielder's choice. And then nothing scores from bases loaded, man. That sucks. That is absolutely sucks. We had a chance with bases loaded and we actually get nothing from that. And a solo home run by Gary Sanchez. Just like back to back home runs. Sanchez and Luke Voigt back to back home runs. That's one run is gonna score right there. Another run's gonna Are you serious? Like what the fuck is going on here? Candelarios with the home run. Solo home run by freaking Rendon. A triple by Nick Cassiano. A run scores right there by George Springer. That is what I like to see. Mark goes out with the rock, a walk, and Jake Rogers cannot get that run in. <laughs> Another home run by Wakefield. Oh my god, come on man. This is uh this is tough. A lot of home runs are being are being hit now. Castellanos at first from a fielder's choice. Glaber is gonna get himself right there. A single and we're gonna have to take out um we're gonna have to take out Steven Matt to see what we can do here. Double play. Marvin Gonzalez is gonna get on with a single strikeout right there. And we're just striking out way too much, man. Aaron Hicks with the double. And then we get the strikeouts there. Pitching chain. They bring in Batanza. They're going to walk Rendon. Strike out. Fielder's choice. Another pitching chain. They bring in Chapman. And a weird, weird, uh, weird use of uh, Dylan Batanza there. And another pitching chain. Zach, what are, what, what are they doing? They walk Jake Rogers. And I think that uh, I'm not saying anything. Anything can happen. Another. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, two walks in a row. A double play right there. And a fly out. And we lose the game, folks. Oh my God, yo! I don't, I can't believe this, man. We lose the game, a game that I, ah, man, I, I, our, our starters are just, just, they're just killing us, man. They're killing us, dudes. Our starters are killing us. They're losing us the games. The Yankees just keep on hitting home runs, which is actually really, 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 really annoying. Um, a lot of you know back-to-back -back home runs, very annoying. Uh, definitely not what we needed and folks we're down 2-1 in the series now the next episode we're gonna be seeing game number three and game I mean game four and five and see if we can get past this hurdle man because 
The Yankees seems to be our biggest trouble for us to win the World Series, and it is actually really annoying, man. It's actually really annoying. I feel like we do need to make some moves for more arms in the rotation because as it looks like right now, man, it's not going too good for us. <laughs> it is 100% not going too good for us, and we're going to have... We're going to learn the hard way that things need to happen here, folks. But that is going to be it for this video, man. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys want to see some more uh, franchise, Detroit Tiger franchise, make sure to leave a like down below. And also drop a sub. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. So if you guys can click that sub button for your bro, that'll be actually amazing. I don't know why I said bro like that weird. But yeah, it's been your boy Rezzy. And I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.